Hello everyone. Today, let's learn what are random variables. So let's consider this experiment where we are rolling two dice. So what will be the outcome? Well, it will be a pair of numbers between 1 and 6 like this. So the set of all the outcomes of this experiment is known as sample space of the experiment. Now, since this experiment has more than one outcome, as you can see, there are 36 outcomes and we cannot really predict what will be the next outcome. Such an experiment is known as a random experiment. What is it known as? A random experiment. Now suppose we wish to know what is the product of the two numbers on the dice. So let's write it down. Product of the two numbers. So let us throw the dice. We got 1 and 2. So product of 1 and 2 will be 2. So will the product always be 2 every time you throw the dice? Definitely no, because suppose I throw the dice again, we get a different outcome. So the product will be different because the numbers are different. So here it will be 4 into 2, which is 8. So we can say that the product of the two numbers varies as the outcome varies. So if we take product of the numbers as x, then x will be a variable because its value varies as the outcome varies. Also friends, this variable x is dependent on the outcome of the experiment. That's why we can say that x is a function of the outcomes of the random experiment. Now why do we call it as a function? That is because each of these 36 outcomes will be associated with a single product. Like for example, 1 into 1 will be 1. 3 into 1 will be 3, 6 into 4 will be 24. So each of these outcomes will have a unique product and that's why x is a function. It is also a variable. So this variable is given a special name known as a random variable. What is it known as? A random variable. So x is a random variable. Now why it is variable? That's because x value varies as the outcome varies. And it is random because it is dependent on the outcome of a random experiment, friends. That's why it's known as a random variable. Now, we mentioned before that x is a function. So, friends, every function should have a domain as well as a range. So, what will be the domain and range of x? Well, the domain will be the sample set of the random experiment, friends. So, in this case, the domain will be the set of all pairs of numbers from 1 to 6. So, the domain here is the sample space of the experiment and the range will be all real numbers. So for example, if I'm throwing the dice again, I'm getting 4 and 3. So 4 into 3 is 12, which is a real number. So the range will be the set of real numbers. So we have domain and range of the random variable. So we can formally give the definition of random variable x as a real valued function whose domain is the sample space of the random experiment. So why is it real valued function? That's because the range of the function will be the set of all real numbers and the domain will be the sample space of the random experiment. So friends, random variables are always denoted by capital letters. Any capital letter like X, Y, Z it is denoted by capital letters. And pictorially, friends, you can remember the concept of random variable this way. So this is the random variable, which is a function. And its input will be the domain, that is the sample space of the experiment. And the output will be the range, which is a real number, any real number. So coming back to this example, let's see what will be some of the values. So suppose I take x of say an input suppose I'm throwing the dice like this I'm getting 2 and 2 so let us see what will happen x of 2 comma 2 what is the function x it is product of the two numbers so I'll get 2 into 2 which is 4 let's take another uh, outcome say I'm getting 3 and 1 so x of 3 comma 1 will be 3 into 1 which is 3 so friends, if you found the video useful, do like and share it. Consider subscribing to enjoy math and please leave your comments in the comment section below. So till we meet again, take care.